Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play. Alright guys, so in the beginning of the last episode I told you guys I would explain my new and improved Iron Golem farm. And I actually do have to say I have to give shout outs to Retribution Evil from Factions Blue. He's really good with redstone, he's really good with the grinders, and uh, he decided to show me his and I decided to sort of implement it into mine as it was very, it's, it's literally the most efficient iron golem farm you could have is and then it makes a ton of money so uh just to just to show you guys my video is going to be lagging a little bit uh throughout just because i'm uh rendering the previous raid video in the background so uh please excuse the lag and uh as a reminder guys i don't know if you guys have noticed all of my videos are in 1080p so on the bottom right of your screen click that 1080p button and you guys will just be able to be watching in high definition so uh yeah let's get started so i'll give you guys a quick tour all these uh, chests right here are basically collecting iron golems, or iron ingots, and f the poppies. They're called poppies now, like red flowers, whatever poppies. And uh, let's 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 see how much I've I've been making. So let's let's go slash bell. So it's the same as last episode. I have four million right now. So I'm just gonna clear this road chest and grab all the iron ingots that are in there, and then we'll see how much we have. I'm pretty sure I'll have enough for for another spawner as well. So let's so let's let's pick these up. Just this is just an example of how much money this this farm actually gets me. And um, I actually upgraded my sell sign to to sell two stacks per click just to make it faster. Just because I get so much iron ingots for freaking clearing these chests, it's actually, it's insane the amount of iron we get, guys. Like this is just the the stuff the iron I'm collecting right now. This is probably the effects of AFKing for maybe like. I don't know, Pello, how much would you say? Pello's in the call, he just has his mic muted because he's uh, doing some stuff. Probably AFKing around 10-20 minutes. You get all this iron that I'm currently co collecting right now. So, I'm recording this video about 20 minutes after I recorded that last raiding video. So, yeah, let's see how much I've made in that time period. So, as I showed you, I did start with 4 million. And then I'm slowly selling all these ingots in here. Let's see, let's get some more. Okay, we're halfway done with the chests. We have almost all the chests, or halfway of the chests uh, emptied out so far. Uh, let's see. I was actually planning on live streaming today, but I got really busy. Uh, we started taking down all of our Christmas decorations, and that took so much time, and I just was just really tired. I just didn't feel like live streaming. Uh, might be doing it tomorrow. Well, actually, it'd be technically today since I'm going to be uploading this tomorrow evening, I believe. It's so weird talking in the future like that. <laughs> oh, God. All right. So, yeah, I'm just selling the ingots right now, guys. This is going to take a little bit. So the sell signs do help uh, sell stuff faster, but obviously it, it does take some time to actually collect everything. Why? What the heck is it doing that for? Okay, let's just manually click each one. That's cool, too. Desperado. Alright, let's just sell that for now. Once again, you guys can watch all of my videos in 1080p. If you guys are watching from a home computer, I really do recommend watching with the, that high definition as it does give more detail on the videos. Like, you can see clearly what, like, basically what I'm seeing on my screen and uh, it doesn't it doesn't lag as if you guys have a decent internet it won't lag so make sure you guys do that all right so I do have four more chests to clear I'm actually just gonna stop right there because you guys do get the idea of me selling it so if I do slash bell now I just made two hundred and seventy two thousand just from clearing almost all of the chests except for these last four over here so in that five five ten minutes of AFKing up top so the Pello is up there. He's like way up there in my AFK pool. Um, I basically made 272,000. So uh, I, I, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to do slash fly right here. And then I'm going to show you guys the inside of my farm so I can actually show you guys what the farm looks like. And uh, oh god, I'm not I'm, I'm not going to be in game mode, but I'll still be so I'll still be taking shots. So let's stand here for a second, guys. So as you can see, Pello's in the AFK pool over there. And let's just take a let's take a look at the spawn rates of all these iron golems, guys. All right. So if we if we take a look, almost every second there's at least like four or five that are just straight spawning. So 
currently we have I think 42 spawners over here we started with 36 and we've slowly been buying them so uh, I'll still I'll be buying more at the end of this video and then placing it and uh, just to show you guys just look how insane the spawn rates are for this type of farm so like retribution evil just just big ups to you man like you really did figure out like the best way to have this farm look at look at how many are dropping per second guys like i understand there's a lot of spawners so it will take some time if you did decide to make a farm like this it will take some time to actually accumulate the money but just imagine like look at all these like all these iron golems down here are just all dying and basically that's just straight money for the for me and like the rest of my faction so like every second like literally every second you can see at least like three to five iron golems just pouring down so yeah guys so this is the farm so um the basic dimensions i mean you could make it as big as you want the only things that you are going to want is um so i'm going to go into game well actually i, I won't need to go into game but i could just show you guys because i have a pickaxe so uh, from all sides of the iron golem spawner you're going to want two air blocks so if you guys can see this is my obsidian wall right here uh, if there's there's two blocks as you can see I just mine there's two blocks between the wall like the wall of the farm and then the actual spawner itself so that's the same for all sides all the way throughout so if you guys are gonna make this type of spawner you guys are gonna have to do a little bit of planning and then if, if you're gonna make multiple layers like I mean honestly I could have this only this one layer but since I want to have insane spawn rates I added a second layer and I'm planning on adding a third and a fourth and a fifth that's why this layer is so high and uh, you know all this obsidian I literally bought all this from this farm like all the money that I've been buying my obsidian if you guys have seen me on the server I buy obsidian very frequently and that's because of this farm so yeah, so make sure you guys have a two block airspace between each spawner, that's including the top of it, so there's, as you can see there's a two block height between this bottom spawner and this top one. So I'll break that real quick, and then as you can see I place slabs for the meantime on top of the very top spawner just because um, I don't want them spawning on top of there and as you guys do, or as you guys might not be aware, half slabs stop mobs from spawning on top of stuff so yeah so th there's no slabs on the top of these ones just because I don't want to clog up that airspace and the way uh, mob spawning works is it checks the amounts of like the air blocks around a spawner and then it spawns it in a available block and it, it just without this on top I mean adding a half slab doesn't really slow down the spawn rates if like to the max but to just to max out your farm you're gonna want like whatever layer has a spawner above it you're gonna want it to not have a slab on top so this is basically the basics of the farm so you guys have to make sure if you guys are gonna copy this farm um, make sure you have your equivalent amount of airspace between each one have everything perfectly symmetrical it does take some planning but it does work and it's very worth it. And then if we take a quick look down here, if I just drop down, I might die because I'm in lava. No, I should be fine. As you can see, the hoppers are all down here connecting to my chest, which are here. And if you take a close look, I'm not dying down here because there is a two air block space between like where I'm standing and where I'm and and where the iron uh, or where the lava is. So iron golems have a three height. So th their head is basically still in the lava, so that's why they are dying. But since us as the Minecraft players, we only have a two block height, we don't die since there's a, basically an airspace right here. Like there's lava above us, but the signs prevent us from dying. So yeah, so the hop make sure when you guys make this, the hoppers here, there's going to be one blank air spot and then a sign to stop the lava from flowing onto you. And then basically there you go. So that's your farm. It's a very easy farm. You guys can look up other videos on YouTube. I'm not going to go into detail. I do have an Iron Golem farm tutorial earlier in my Factions Let's Play series. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, make sure you guys go and watch that. It's a couple of episodes back. I think it's like episode, It's like in the teens. It's like episode 12 or something. I really don't recall. Just look at the titles of the videos. You guys will find it. All right. So let's do this. Uh, I'm going to get out of fly mode and then I'm going to get into my little airspace that I made here. <laughs> Pillow's back apparently. <laughs> I'm recording, man. What's up? All right, so I have 4.2 million, and that should be enough for I think another four spawner. How much are spawners, Pillow? Um, 300k per iron. So I can buy another 10, actually. Jeez, at know, least cool. 10. All right, well let's buy this. So I'm gonna. Sl I'm, I'm okay. I'm buying these. I'm just gonna buy as many as I can until it says I can anymore. Insufficient funds. All right, I can. I bought another 14, so I'm gonna just place these on camera. 
Okay, so F home. Uh, F home. All right, so how I'm gonna do this? I'm not gonna use slash fly, guys. I do play legit on the server, just to make to let you guys know, you know. So how I've been doing this so far? Do I have slabs on me? I need slabs before I go up there. Get some slabs. Uh, we're just insanity keep him. He freaking moved stuff around and didn't tell me. There it is. So let's take some of these slabs and let's get going. Let's place down these 14 spawners, make this farm even more crazy. I now have a 72,000 balance and um, we'll see where we can go from there. So how I'm going to do this, you know what, I need a god apple just in case I do fall and start dying. Alright, two. That should be that should be enough. Are you up there already? How how the heck did you Oh, you're you're a smart one. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> so we have our AFK pool up here and Pello just broke the glass basically. If you explode that TNT, I don't even know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what the blocks to build. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so let's do it on this side. Watch me fall. First jump. Parkour. <laughs> Alright guys, so as we can see, I'm just going to break the half slab on top, I'm going to place two block space between, and then the spawner right on top, and then I'm actually going to, I'm going to break this one below me, I'm going to jump up and then place a slab on top of this one, cool. and then break the two cobble. Pella, you're going to die. <laughs> if you fall through, you're not going to die, though, because there's an airspace. So as you can see, it's very easy to place these spawners as long as you guys have... <gasps> oh my god, I nearly died. As long... <laughs> as long as you guys do have some parkour skills, it's very easy to place. There you go. Let's get these 14 spawners nice and set. Oh, man. I'm going to shoot this guy. Do I have a bow with me? Pello. Yes. Pello, shoot him off. Boom, that was a perfect shot. I'm going to get a slab on top. You know what, let's get this quartz slab on top just to make sure. Oh, Pello, shoot it. Shoot it, Pello, go. <laughs> All right, that was perfect. Um, This is two height, right? Am I on a two height? Do you see? Wait, three <gasps> blocks. And the oh, there's three. All right, there we go. All right, now let's place this down. Oh, God. Mistakes have been made. Let's place this down. Uh. And then mine this slab. Go up one. Put the slab on this new one. Dude, that was a nice shot. Boom. This does take some time, guys, as you can see. But, I mean, it's really worth it. So, why not, right? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> this is so dangerous. Like, I feel like I'm going to fall at any second. One, two, three. Boom. Oh, shoot it off, Pello. Whee! Too good. I'm too good. You're just too good at those bow shots at freaking <laughs> iron golems. Mm -hmm. Move this here. So we've placed one, two, three. We've placed five so far. And then let's place this here. Jump. Oh, I just missed it. Wait, no, I didn't. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm still alive. My, par my parkour skills haven't failed me yet. And place a spawner. Oh god. Eh. Grab that slab. Basically just repeating. So this is how I this is the method that we use. I mean Pell is obviously helping because he shoots them off if they do spawn. But just grab one of your faction allies if you guys do need help with this part, because as it does it does get quite nerve wracking. <laughs> Trying to hit every single uh, jump perfectly just like that. Just place blocks to walk over. I know that's true, but no, we 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 live life dangerously. We live life dangerously, Pello. That's how we do it. All right, and then two, place that slab back on top. Mine these two cobblestone, and rinse and repeat. Four, five more, four more to go, guys. We're almost there. Oh god, what the, what the heck was that? How did I? How did he not push me off? Oh, I lost the slab. Dang it. I lost this slab. There's gonna be one random stone slab in here. No, we can't have that. Yeah, you better change it. <laughs> go make a go make a thing real quick. 
Uh, break, break. All right, guys, three more to go. And uh, so this level is almost done. We'll have to save up a little bit longer. I think Insanity actually has enough money to finish off this level, but he's offline right now, so we'll finish oh, that. Mil. Yeah, Insanity has got... Oh, you have two mil, right? Yeah. Yeah. We could we could do that right now if we wanted to. Uh, oh yeah, god, do I do I wanna do I wanna do, do we have any more quartz slabs? We might actually have to make more. All right, we're using quartz, aren't we? No, yeah, we it's haven't. yeah we have we have uh, th it's a stone slab that looks messed right, up here. Well, I'm gonna go buy some icon spawners. How many do we need? Uh, we need another one, two, three, four, five. So we need another ten. To finish this row. Get that much. Can you get that much? You have how much? You have like four mil, right? Or no, you have two mil. No. All right. I, I got six. All right, that's that. Well, it'll we'll be really close to finishing the thing. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna do this? Um. Do you want to buy some quartz? Dude, is, there's they sell quartz at the shop, don't they? Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Do you want me to buy some? Oh yeah, buy some so we can make some more quartz blocks and then make these all look pretty. All right, let me place a slab up here for the meantime while we wait for Pello to come back with the quartz. So, yeah, I'm going to do slash fly here once again just to give you guys another bird's eye view of everything. So, as you guys can see, it's a very efficient farm. Look, Just look how fast these are spawning. It's, it's literally making my frames lag just because of how much the iron golems are spawning. And they're all just dying there, and we're just basically collecting and racking up on the money. Um, yeah, so we're good. I'm basically planning on completing one, two, three, uh, like probably five or six layers of actual iron golems just to make max out this entire farm to the max, to the brim of our money making ability. Uh, Pell is just gonna, we're basically just gonna finish placing these off of camera. You guys got the idea of what you need to be doing. Thank you guys for watching these videos, and um, I'm planning a raid next episode. You guys do love your raids for some weird reason. You guys love watching people get raided, so. I'm probably going to do another raid video next, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this is D-Field, and once again, the Pelotor, and this is our massive, unfinished Iron Golem farm. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit that like. Oh, oh. You nearly killed me. Holy crap. That would have been. A... I wanted to end the episode. <laughs> that half slab just saved me. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for watching, and we will see you guys later. Yeah.